I don't know how people find this stuff. I like people like crazy good hacker, like crazy good at hacking. I mean, like this. Uh, it didn't. It didn't take long at all for people to uh, hack this. Like hack the switch. Okay, so this is a bit of an interesting difference. Um, I don't know if I might just show like a clip here or something. But um, in the Wii version, because this cut cutscene plays after you beat all the stages, you see like the uh, the door opening to that area. Um, whereas in this version, you see that cutscene play, and then and then you play the actual stage, so it doesn't open a door. Um, and that's kind of a interesting difference because you don't actually fight those guys in the Wii version. It just does both that and the upcoming cutscene. Um, and it's just kind of bizarre. Don't know why. Well, I mean, I get. I guess like there's no point rendering in like an like another stage just to fight the Titan dude and all those like random moves. But it is still bizarre regardless. But I, I gotta remember like this is early game and uh, I can't do a, I can't do anywhere near as much of the fancy stuff I can do like I can like by end game because the way this game does it um is that you go to yeah, you can go to status and you can upgrade at any point during a stage um and you can upgrade like specific things like your life meter your unleashed bar your com like your combos to, so you can get more combos and um stuff like just general stuff like that um can i Oh, I can power drive. Okay, cool. I didn't know you could do that immediately. Um, but, um... Yeah, in the, Wii, in the Wii version, how it works is that... Um, you get a bunch of the Gaia Point energy or whatever, and when you finish a stage, you'll get... Um, obviously, like, you'll get all that experience, and then you'll get like a fixed upgrade or whatever um and what i mean by that is that you can't choose what you want to upgrade like in this version it will basically it'll be fixed every time so you'll be it'll go like upgrade health upgrade lot uh get get a new move and then it'll get, be like upgrade unleashed beat meter and it will kind of just keep alternating um and it's kind of weird. Like, I, I don't mind it so much, but it is one of the more um, out there methods of uh, leveling up. So I do much prefer how this version handles it, um, to no one's surprise. Because it, it just feels better to have the choice of what you want to upgrade and all that. Um, and yeah, it, it's interesting that they that they did that. I don't know why they couldn't have just given you the choice. Um, it feels... A, it it kind of just feels like a, a difference just for the sake of being a difference. Um, and I don't think they really need to... I don't. I didn't think they really need to do that personally. But, either way. Okay, I want to not kill this guy. I want to show this off. So, like, if you damage enemies enough, you can fail the button prompts and... Uh, <laughs> Ah! Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So yeah, um, you can do critical attacks, which are basically just your finishers, like, again, like God of War, for instance, and they, uh, like the name suggests, you can just kill enemies instantly. Um, can't kill that bike, screw you game. <laughs> um, you can kill the enemies instantly, and um, it gives you a, a bucket load of points. So if you, you want to, if you want to get um, a, a like a good rank, you're gonna want to you're wanna, gonna want to use that as much as possible throughout the game. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. I am so not used to early game, I'm sorry. Like, I'm used to having like all these different combos and stuff. I'm not used to having barely anything. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, the, 
in all fairness, the uh, amount of stuff moves I have is probably probably more than I get in the Wii version by end game, <laughs> which is kind of sad and funny. Um, but still, it, it, I'm so used to having all these different moves. But, eh, what are you gonna do? I can kill that bike. <laughs> kill like it's a person. <laughs> and animal objects have feelings too, dang it. Oh, jeez. I always miss this. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, the... Ah, come on. Like, it's really precise. I don't- I never- I don't get this. There we go. But I remember, like, the, um, demo, like, E3 demos of this game. That the rings were, like, super shiny. Like, they're fairly shiny now, but, like, if you look at old E3 footage, um, I might- again, I might show it in the corner or something here, but, um, you'll see that they're, like, really bright, like, they're crazy, they, they went crazy with the, um, effects with that, but for the final release, they toned it down quite drastically. <laughs> yeah, I, I love doing this, you can just pick up a small enemy and just swing them around like so, and, uh, does a fair bit of damage, as you can see. Like, you can, you can get, um, critical attacks in fairly early, but you want to... Ideally, you 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 want to have the health down pretty low because depending on how low the health bar is, that will determine how quick the quick time event is. So you like theoretically you can you can um, do the finishes when they have like a, still a bunch of health left, but like it's gonna be like you're gonna have to put yeah you're, you're gonna have to do the inputs like almost immediately. <laughs> so it's not really. Um, you don't really want to do that. <laughs> and again, just look at the visuals here, like... Uh, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, okay. And, um, like I was saying earlier, like, this version only has one major night level, um, unlike the Wii version, so after this, like, after this stage, that's gonna be the end of, uh, Abatos. At least for now. Um, I, again, I am gonna be trying to show off as much as I can, and that does mean revisiting earlier continents for extra stages, um, and Gaia Gate areas in the Wii version, etc, etc. So, th there's gonna be... There's, there's gonna be a lot to see. Like, I'm not, like, after we leave this world, we aren't leaving it for good. Um, I don't know when I'm, we're gonna leave it for good, honestly. It's actually gonna be quite a while until then. So, yeah, this is this is gonna be a long playthrough. <laughs> um, just gonna say that now, like, I've been recording this for, like, I don't even know how long, like, at least an hour or so, and I'm not even out of Apatosh yet. <laughs> so this is gonna be a long one. It's also, like, the most unorthodox playthrough I've ever done. Uh, like, I have to record like a little bit and then switch to the other version um and switching like it's, it's been really weird so far but uh we we can we, we can we can do it as weird as weird as a setup as this is um like again i could have just done this post but that's alien the like outside of like c's brain and like co like collab stuff Post commentary is just completely alien to me, <laughs> so I'm, I, I'm doing it live. And uh, it's been going decently well so far. We'll see how it go. We see, we'll see how it goes um, as we like get to layer parts of the game. But so far, it's been going fairly well. All right, so do this. Oops. You want to be a little bit careful sometimes because. There, it is possible for the exper experience points to fall off the edge, and then you can't, and then you just can't get them, which kind of sucks. So you want to be a little bit careful about that when executing the finishers. Um, but yeah. You want to grab the enemy? <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I do, I do like the song in fairness, but I just don't like how lot how many times it plays. Like the song again, the song itself is fine. It's just the volume of um the time. Like it's just the the volume of like how many how many times it plays is the issue. It, sh it really should have just they really should have just done a Kingdom Hearts um approach with it. Hey, a book. Yeah, I'm, I like being fairly thorough with these stages. Is I I remember a good chunk of the item locations in the in the day levels, but it's a lot harder to find items in them because you're just blazing through really fast. Whereas in the Werehog stages, um, because you're inherently going through the stages at a much slower pace, um, it's a lot easier to just go go around and find collectibles and whatnot, and uh, yeah, I really hope that box, okay good, <laughs> I need that box for a secret, so it's good at response like that, just, <laughs> good, I, I don't know why I thought circle was the throw burn, I, I'm misrem, I'm forgetting the controls, what's, what's going on there, alright, okay, you sir, need to, um, eat the pavement. <laughs> oh god. No. I need to, I wanna do a, okay, whatever, just. Alright. Yeah, this is the key to getting an S rank. I, I don't care. Whatever that works. Kept missing him. Okay, whatever. Okay, so um, just go through here, and this is the, yeah. This version has quite a bit of a different um, what should we call it? You know, okay, so you know how the Wii version had those like gate things. Um, in this version, instead of that. You get these sections in some levels where you have to find these these keys that you put on these pedestals, um, and it's a little bit weird. Like, I'm, admittedly, I do prefer the Wii version, just giving you like being like, okay, you have these free collectibles you need to find, and you just need to pick them up. But I do prefer that method instead of like looking for a random MacGuffin and then having to bring it back to a place. Um, but it's not that bad, but uh, it the extra step is just a little bit... I don't want to say annoying, but... Uh, the, whatever the case, uh, the Wii version doesn't have that step, and because of that, I prefer that. Like, it, it doesn't f like force you to... Um, Carry, carry a random key to a, a area or whatever, so yeah. That is appreciated. I don't I don't mind I don't mind uh, having to look around for these key pla whatever the hell these things even are. Like I don't mind looking for them in principle. Um, and it's more of just a minor nitpick than anything that you have to like carry them. Um, all right, we we should be on on track to get all the getting all the medals in this place. I like that this specific area has a name, <laughs> like Seaside Parlor. That's pretty nice. Okay. Damn it. Okay, that that's like a, an instance of like doing it where when the enemy has like full health. Um, I, I, I think I've done it a few times, but that's, it goes really fast. So, uh, yeah. I did, I wanted to just see if I could do it. <laughs> Alright, so let's just jump! Okay. And then if you go over here... 
God, look at the look at the ocean, man. <laughs> like, oh god. It's, god, this game is just so gorgeous. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that during the course of this playthrough, but it's true. It's true. Dang it. <laughs> Can't stress that enough. This is like, again, this is, to this day, this is my favorite uh, looking. Well, it's my favorite looking Sonic game. And again, it's my, as I've found out recently, as I just thought about it a lot. This is just my favorite Sonic game period. I really, like, I really hope that they can top it, that they can make a game better than this. Because I'm, I'm not going to be one of those people that, um, is like, this is like the one of the only good Sonic games or whatever. I or whatnot. Um because I know there's a lot of people that um I don't wanna say overpraise or anything, but there's a good there's a good chunk of people that uh love this game and kinda like downplaying a lot of the other games. I'm not gonna say yeah, I'm not gonna Yeah, it's an instance of XP falling down. Um, I'm not gonna do any of anything like that. Like I still, I still love the adventure games, Heroes, Colors, Generations, and all that. And I even really like Lost World. Um, like I, I'm not gonna be one of those people who are just like unleash just like the greatest thing known to man, and everything else sucks. Um, like no, no, it's nothing like that. Um, it's just per like overall, personally, I think. I, well, not I think, but like, personally, this is my favorite game in the series. Um, that doesn't that doesn't disqualify that doesn't like uh, disqualify any of the of the other games in the series, though. Like, far from that. Like this game does have problems, and I can understand why some people won't be so hot on this one. Uh, like, it's but the werehog is like a massive part of the game, and I understand why some people aren't gonna enjoy it. Like, it makes sense, um, but, yeah. Just gotta say this, like, it's, it's okay, it's okay to be the minority in some things, like, as long as you just enjoy the game you're playing, like, I don't see, I don't see a problem with it. Just get all this. Random garbage, just cause. <laughs> and if you go back here, you can actually see tails, which is fairly cool. Just punch him in the face. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing else here. Yeah, boy. Donkey Kick Combo, Egg Scrambler. Level up strength. Yeah, I, I want to balance this out as much as I can. And then level this up, just because we can. And we're good. So I don't think I'm going to show this, but again, like this cutscene just immediately plays after the other one, and it's kind of kind of bizarre. Is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that. And yeah, and then you, they go out to the like. This looks like the Wii, like the Wii version's final stage, like the third, the third act. Like I know there was like an area, um, like a small little area in this version that was like a little, a little filled or whatever. But it's like really tiny. Um, whereas the, the Wii version had like a massive open field. So, An easy job yeah. If the planet were broken. No problem. 
My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going. Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving. Yes, he said the thing. <laughs> Yeah. And now we have something that's like entirely exclusive to the HD version. So you remember those sky chase levels from SA1? Well, it's not entire. Well, it's it's not really the same thing, but it's a similar concept. You're flying in the you're flying in the tornado, um, and the way okay. So the way SA one did it is like you had free, you had completely free control over the tornado, and you had like um. I I think I th I think it's like a basic. I think it's bit meant to be like Panzer Dragoon or something like that. Um, and how it plays. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard. Whereas in this game, uh, you're completely on rails, and uh, yeah, as you can, as Tails is explaining it here, um, you're completely on rails, and you need to pr just wait for the button prompts to show up and uh, get them correct. The S rank on this stage is actually fairly strict because I don't think you're allowed to drop your combo once and that's actually fairly strict um so i'm gonna i'm gonna try for it but if i fail then i fail it's not it's not that big of a deal but um this might but the, yeah I, I know like the general consensus is that uh the sa1 sky chase levels are generally preferred like the movement and whatnot and shooting down things is some people more satisfying and I, I can understand that if you're gonna this is probably a fairly unpopular opinion but if you want to know what I think I actually <laughs> I actually like these more just for the fact that I find them more challenging and engaging because uh, while they are technically slower paced in a, in a way um, I find the yeah again I just find them more engaging because you're constantly you constantly have to look at the screen uh, you constantly have to pay attention to what you're doing uh, whereas the ones in SA1 I find kind of a bit boring and too easy personally and the fact that you have to play both uh, sky chase levels in that game twice um, kind of makes it more tedious than anything in my opinion and I don't find them inherently that fun to begin with. Like they're fine enough just playing through Sonic's campaign for the first time but doing them again uh, with uh, t uh, with Tails' story um, just feels really pointless and like after playing them again and again so like so many times over the years I've just kind of grown to not really enjoy them all that much. Um, like I, I, I don't know. I just they never like they just don't really do that much for me. Whereas like I, I can understand this not being that favorable for a lot of people, and I get that. But getting a big combo is just inherently satisfying to me, and the fact that you have to constantly watch what button you're pressing is just. Inherently more engaging, personally. Like I, I don't know. I just I. They, they don't. These there's only two of these in the game, and unlike SA1, you don't have to play them again, unless you want to get a better rank, obviously. But um. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try and focus here because uh, we're doing really well. But.
Okay, that was okay. That could have been bad. It's a little bit scary when it like changes camera view and you can and you can't see things in time. Oh damn it! Okay, it's fine. We we got close. Yeah, this is really strict for this early on in the game. Because I, like, you get like the your combo is just inherently going to give you more points, like the higher it goes. Um, so if you if you have it drop at any point in this stage, you're just not going to get enough points. So that kind of stinks. Oh, uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to get it. Oh well. It's definitely going to be an A though. I'd be surprised if it isn't. Yeah, bye, Tiki enemy from DKC Returns. <laughs> cool. And again, I mean, considering how many times you have to do quick time events in this game, I do think this is a good way to. Uh, pre prepare you for that, and yeah, just A. Hey. Which is fine enough for me. That kind of sucks, Die. I, I was doing so well. I don't know why they make that so strict, because the, the second version of that stage is way easier to S-rank. So I don't know why they did it like that. It's kind of weird.